Hello everybody, uh, just wanted to update or give a quick uh, introduction on the new Advanced MD prescribing software. It's not too uh, easy to use their, uh, their learning modules. It's a pain in the butt to log in. So here's another way uh, if you need a little help in, in order to figure out these things. So first, how to add a prescription to your favorites. So let's go to a test patient and we'll pick test billing and what you want to do is to just like before find uh, your prescriptions icon which is right here and new prescription go ahead and click on it and you'll see You'll get the prescribing information here with uh, now search and favorites. So let's say I want to add a prescription to my favorites. And let's say that is uh, Lupron for whatever reason. There we are. Let's pick this one for just the sake of it. What you have to do is you select it and it comes up. This is the Lupron I want. This is the, it's going to be routine or over the counter or PRN. And you have to do frequency. All these things have to be filled out. I'm going to say here, let's say once a day. It's not going to be once a day. And it's going to be quantity. It's going to be one. Usually it's like once a month, basically. And so we'll do it one day. And it comes as a kit, and we're going to probably be doing it once a month for three months. So we're going to do an intramuscular kit once a day. So it's going to be one, so I have to come in here and change that to one. One intramuscular kit once a day. And so if it's like how you like it, you can check to see what the prescription is going to look like by coming over to Options. And it comes up here. This is what the SIG is what the pharmacy sees. You can add additional instructions here, and that's pretty much the only parts that are are useful. The rest of the boxes I don't find useful. Then if we want we're happy with this and we're going to use it again and we want to add it to our favorites list, we first have to come here and uh, save the drug. Don't sign it yet, save it. Now it's saved. Now we can come to our favorites tab and what you want to do is you just put your cursor in there and see how AdvanceMD gives you a suggestion on, on how you should label it. Probably better to use their labeling software since it would be more consistent. I will, Or maybe at least uh, change little things about it, but I'd try to use theirs. Then you can come here and you can hit save and it will be in your favorites. I'm not going to do that because I don't want it in my favorites, so uh, I'm not going to. I'm going to just come over here instead and delete. That is how you add to your favorites. Now, let me also just give you one uh, bit of advice. Since the update came, it has wiped everything, so it wiped all your previous favorites. So you have to start from scratch. Uh, it has also. Uh, wiped uh, this pharmacy information so before you write a prescription you must have the pharmacy information entered first I've made this mistake a few times if you uh, write a prescription but there's nothing in here this is blank there's no pharmacy information you will not be able to uh, electronically send that prescription. You're going to have to rewrite that prescription. It's a big pain in the butt. The other thing I would also give a, uh, a suggestion to is uh, ask for at the visit verbal consent here. So it says note to physician, uh, you know, please get consent to get their prior uh, medication information because then you can import in uh, their uh, patient prescribing information from other resources. It could save you a lot of time in updating their, their medications list. And then uh, lastly, I would be doing this, uh, checking uh, when you can, check for updates, because then when you are bringing up a new prescription, you will see, let me find it again, uh, in the information on the medications, 
uh, doesn't have it here because I don't have a, 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 a formulary uh, because this patient doesn't have any insurance listed, but there would be little icons next to it, green stars versus red stars, which will guide you as to the preferred medications. So that's my recommendation, doing those. Make sure there's a, a pharmacy. Make sure um, you ask for consent to import in more uh, data about their medications from other providers and also make sure that you update the formulary plan at every visit so that you can get the most up-to-date uh, medications that are covered for that patient. Uh, that's how you do a new RX uh, where you can add it to your favorites. Okay, thank you.